Ice Hogs fans, it's time for another edition of the Ice Hogs Minute alongside Slavko Bekovic. I am Mike Peck, and uh, well, it's post lockout time now for, uh, for for the hockey world, and we're not going to talk about who is gone. We're going to talk about who is here, and you know, there it's an opportunity for a lot of these guys to, to reestablish themselves in the American Hockey League. And um, a guy like Brandon Svensson, really timing couldn't have been any better because he's finally healthy. A guy like Ben Yowds, who's been tearing up the ECHL, time for him to to come back to Rockford and, and hopefully reestablish himself here. Oh, well, Yowds was announced an ECHL All-Star comes up. Now he's got his opportunity here with the Ice Hogs to make the best of his ice time, and hopefully for his sake he'll get enough ice time to uh, continue his hot streak that he had down in Toledo. You know, one thing I think that is overlooked a lot, uh, especially with this team, is the depth. And, you know, we've talked about the depth this year when uh, pre-lockout, when you had the Lettys and the Krugers and the Shaws and the guys like that here, but there were some guys in the in the ECHL, even a guy like Byron Fraze, who's dinged up right now and won't be in the, in the lineup, Terry Broadhurst, who's having a great rookie season in, in the ECHL leading the ECHL in rookie scoring so there's a lot of depth here in this organization and I think we're going to see that here over the final three and a half months of the regular season. It just goes to show the, de- the depth that the Blackhawks organization has from top to bottom in general that they can have these guys come up from Rockford up back up to Chicago to play in the NHL now that the lockout's over and then have these guys come from Toledo back to Rockford and they're not really losing that much as far as talent goes and quality on the ice. Great thing that uh, we're finally back to normal here I guess. Uh, we're going to miss <laughs> those guys for sure but Absolutely. at the same time they deserve to be up there and uh, some normalcy finally returning here to, to, to the American Hockey League and the world of hockey. Now, this week, big slate, uh, Grand Rapids twice, Milwaukee on Saturday um, at home. Friday night, two, two millionth fan are going to be uh, passing Absolutely. the turnstiles here at the BMO Harris Bank Center. During the second period, we'll have the announcement there at the BMO, so make sure you guys are in your seats if you're at the game, which you should be anyway. Like he said, Grand Rapids Griffins is going to be a battle. The Hogs trying to catch the Grand Rapids Griffins, who are on fire back in first place now in the Midwest Division. we got a great prize package, by the way, for the two millionth fan, including season tickets for the rest of this year and for the next two seasons. Plus, this is my favorite part, you will get your own personal parking spot right, right. across the street from the rink. So you, you also you, get a nice jersey. Yeah, and you can Number autograph two. it. Yeah, there you go. Yep. So it, uh, it, it's a, a lot of fun. And then we close the week in Milwaukee on Saturday against the Admirals. So three uh, important games. And, you know, everybody in the AHL is going to be now transitioning to a, a little bit different of a roster. But at the same time, again, guys that, that, that should be in Rockford, deserve to be in Rockford, are now here. And I'm looking forward to seeing it. It's part two of the season now. And basically everyone's starting fresh once again. All right. Well, Happy New Year to all you Ice Hawk fans out there. For Slavko Bekovic, I'm Mike Peck. This has been another edition of the Ice Hogs Minute.